Hey guys, it's Lish from Devilish Angel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this cute little DIY apron from scratch. In this video, I'm making a mommy-daughter set because usually people always order them as a set. For the main fabric, which is the unicorn fabric in this case, I get about a yard and a quarter. And then for the backside fabric, I get about a yard and three fourths. So for the pattern, I'm using a apron I already have. I'm just making it a little bit shorter since I'm adding a ruffle. I'm going to trace around the apron with a washable marker and then cut out just the general shape and then I'm going to fold it in half and then really trim it up here um, that way I can make sure that the sides are all even by folding it in half. So for the kids apron I'm just making it even more shorter and taking in the sides a bit. Um, you know it really depends on the kid and how big they are. So here you can see the difference and the size between the adult and the child apron. So I'm going to take my other lining fabric and I'm going to lay my apron piece that I cut off on top of it and just cut around it. Um, so this is going to be the back side of the apron. And I'm doing this for both aprons. So for the straps that go around your neck and the ones that go around your waist, as well as the ruffle, these are all the measurements that I use for the adult and the daughter version of the apron and I'm gonna put this in the description as well and all these measurements are in inches by the way and then I also cut out two pockets which I'll put the pattern piece for my pocket that I use in the description as well so here I'm just cutting out all of those many many straps and ruffles and again just use those um, measurements that I have in the description and that will help you when it's the adult version when it's a kid version a lot of people in my other videos ask me about this cutting set that I have so I'm gonna put the link to this specific set in my bio I mean not my bio it's not Instagram um, my description as well is very helpful I use it for literally everything I make so for the pocket I'm just cutting out the general shape and then I'm going to fold it in half and cut out like the little curvy edge and this just helps make sure that my pocket is perfectly even on both sides. For the kids pocket I do the same thing except you'll see like at the bottom there the pattern is hanging over the edge a bit that way um, it's smaller than the adult version. So for the pocket I'm just going to fold over the top edge. And then fold it over again and then I'm going to sew that down with a straight stitch only the top of the pocket and then for all of the straps I'm going to fold them in half and then sew two of the edges so one short edge and then that long edge leaving one of the short edges open that way we can turn it right side out so here's me um, sewing those straps it's the same process for all of them um, I'm just using a regular straight stitch and I'm lining up the edge of the straps with um, a part of my footer. That way it has even seam allowance around the whole thing. I usually have about a quarter inch seam allowance and again you just want to make sure it's even that way your straps are even for the whole length. And again closing one end leaving the other end open. It may help you to pin it personally this fabric doesn't really move for me so I don't really need to pin it um, and then here's me sewing the top of the pocket just folding over the edge and folding it over again that way it doesn't fray. So now that I have all my straps sewn I'm just going to trim all the little threads off the ends and now it's time to turn them right side out so I use a loop turner I'll put the link for these in the description and I use a pencil to um, help push out the corners. Sometimes these are a little hard to get started, but once you get it going, it definitely helps um, to turn out any strap or anything like that. So I'm just going to drop this pencil in here and then use it to help push out the little corners of the straps. So here's just one more quick example. And by the way, everything I'm doing to one apron, I'm doing to the other. Once I get all my straps turned right side out, I'm just going to press them with the iron 
and by the way don't come for my iron I know it is so old but it still gets the job done so I'm just pressing them flat and I'm kind of like wiggling the edge of the seam as I do it so that the seam is flat as well now that they're all pressed and nice and crisp I'm just gonna sew around the whole edge um I usually don't sew that one short end because it's gonna be inside the apron but I go down the long edge the short edge and then down the other long side as you see me do here so if you're making the mommy daughter set you should have eight straps total if you're just making one apron you should have four straps here I'm just trimming the threads off the end to attach the straps I'm just gonna put the two main pieces of the apron right sides together and then I'm just pinning in place where I want the straps to go so the straps will go inside these two layers for now that way when we turn it inside out they'll be on, on the right side that's how I'm putting the strap about like a quarter inch to half inch from the edge of the apron that's because I'm just leaving room for seam allowance and when I do the waist straps I do the same thing I put the strap on the edge there but I'm not putting it right where that curve is because I need seam allowance so when I sew that little curve if that makes sense once I have those four straps pinned down I'm just gonna pin the rest of the edge of the apron and I'm gonna sew along the edge with a straight stitch but I'm leaving the bottom part of the apron completely open so again I'm just sewing here with a straight stitch and I'm leaving the bottom open and about a quarter inch seam allowance and you want to make sure when you get to where the straps are just go a little slow make sure that they're lined up straight and that they're not sticking through another edge of the apron so you don't actually sew over it and once that's done I flip the apron right side out here I'm adding a curve to the bottom of the aprons um that way it'll look cute with the little ruffle so I'm just folding it in half and then just putting, cutting a curve um, so that the ruffle will kind of go up on the edge and it'll just look, you know, cuter. After I cut that curve, I'm just going to sew around the edge. Again, not sewing the bottom. And I'm just using a straight stitch and just going right kind of like on the edge there, maybe like a, a eighth of an inch from the edge. It just um, makes the seam nice and flat. Now it's time to add the ruffle, so I'm just going to fold the ruffle in half and then place what is going to be the top of the ruffle on the top of the apron. And then pretty much every two inches, I'm going to pinch like a half inch of the fabric and fold it over and then pin it. So I'm just making pleats. So here you'll see me that pin, where from where I pinned last time, I'm going to find the two inch mark pinch a half an inch and fold it over so now I'm just gonna straight stitch over top of this to keep the ruffle in place and make sure you go through all the layers of the fabric and I'm gonna trim the excess of the ruffle leaving about an inch and a half make sure this doesn't fray I'm going to go over where I just sewed with the hem stitch so to finish off the ends of the ruffle, I'm just going to fold it over, then fold it over again. And that way the edge of the ruffle is nice and clean and it doesn't fray. And I'm going to go over that with a straight stitch. So the last thing to do to finish off this ruffle is to just sew that top of the ruffle with a straight stitch. That way it lies nice and flat. And finally, the last thing to do is just to add the pocket. So I like to take a measuring tape and measure the edges. That way I can make sure that it's exactly in the middle. So once I'm happy with the position of it, I'm just going to add a pin to keep it in place. And then I go around the pocket just folding over the edge and then folding over the edge again just a little and pinning it down and I fold it over twice that way it just doesn't like fray a lot if you sew it or anything like that this part can be a little tedious but you know just take your time you got it so once it's all pinned on there I'm just gonna go 
around the edge of the pocket with a straight stitch making sure you do not sew your pocket closed so do not sew that top part and when you're sewing this make sure that your straps aren't um, on the bottom of your apron that way you don't actually sew over them because I definitely have did that a couple times while sewing on these pockets so here is the final result and I made two matching scrunchies as well they were so cute a lot of people ordered them for Christmas gifts and here's another set I made and I love just like how it fits it is so adorable thanks for watching if you guys have any questions just leave them in the comments and I'll answer them and if you want to see more of my work you can follow me at devilish angel on Instagram thanks